Okay, so here's my phone. Here is the previous smallest monitor in the world. And then this is like your standard thumb drive. And then this right here is the world's smallest gaming monitor. And I'm about to play Minecraft on it. <laughs> you guys send me stuff. This is new shark terrible. New shark terrible. Sometimes it's dumb stuff. Okay. Sometimes it's cool stuff. I think that's like the original retail packaging from like 2000, bro. But it's always stuff. Bro. And I take it. And I hack it. a bunch of hackeroonies. And I program it. And develop on I've it. Never done this before, so that's kind of cool. And attempt to turn it into. So it's not just stupid setups this time, it's stupid small setups. A right? stupid setup. This episode's presented by Life and Wave. All right, boy. I don't know why I <laughs> Camera angles I have. Uh, anyway, this one here just says, um, it says new shark terrible. New shark terrible. We'll start with that one. I've been waiting. I've been dying to open this one. It's a shark candle. The candle daddy shark. I think they thought I was going to light it. I'm not lighting it, bro. I'm not lighting it. I'm going to set it right there and I'm not lighting it unless maybe if you subscribe to I'm gonna regret this, bro. I didn't catch the name of who sent that, but if I see you anywhere, I'm blocking you on Twitter and I'm banning you. There was also this, I, some stuff, bro, I just can't wait and I have to open it. But this was like a little teeny tiny phone, bro. Little teeny tiny little like dinky Android phone. I haven't turned it on. Let's see if it like actually works, like if it turns on. <laughs> Okay, sick. Oh, it comes with a case? I guess that makes sense because they're like, no one's gonna actually make a case for this dumb little phone. It looks like an iPhone 5C from back in the day, bro. I fixed a thousand iPhone 5C screens. We're gonna put this on the charger. Oh, it's got a camera. Bro, it's got a camera. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Stupid. Thanks for the camera. Oh, and we got some snacks for later. Looking good, looking good. But honestly, it sounds terrible right now. I'm very full. Oh. Uh oh, okay. A little mini archery action. So I think this shoots actual arrows. Oh. Oh! <laughs> from Newton. This is from Newton. It's like a teeny tiny camera. Does it have a battery built in? That'd be sick if it had a battery built in, dude. This is sick. I actually really like this. All right, another Amazon Echo Dot. Please stop sending me those. Someone sent a bunch of these tiny little controllers. I don't know, maybe they sent these like four years ago. Oh, it kind of feels like a Joy-Con. I like the plethora of small items. Like we got the teeny tiny phone, the teeny tiny controller. Oh, that's satisfying how that fits right there. Uh, these, which just says Smartware Fashion Pioneer. <laughs> ah! oh! Look at that little like crevice. That's like an alligator jaw right now. Dong, dong. I think it's like earbuds. That's kind of cool. Uh, someone sent like a literal mouse mouse. I think that's like the original retail packaging. The simple way to surf the web, bro. Wow, activating your software, dude. Imagine this runs. Oh, the software's on a disc, bro. That's insane. I had no idea that was in there. I just thought that was the manual. Bro. I've got a disc drive, bro. We're going to plug this in. We're going to see what's on there. That's probably like an IR blaster of some sort. All right, everything's charging. I really like when they come in the freaking, the orange, like... I feel like it makes it better. Ah, ah, oh. Bro. A little electronic -y thing. There's no instructions or anything. It's just a tiny little chip thing. What did they send me, bro? Is this like a virus? We don't know what's on something and you don't plug it into your computer. All right, we'll set it right here. We'll plug it in in a little bit. This one's from Connor. Bro. Bro. Oh, it's got a letter. Oh, uh, it's not a letter. Freaking Connor? The heck is this? It's like one of those advertisements they do where they try to bait you by making it look like it's handwritten. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of dusty and gross. Arpigagiator. Oh, I see. You put three triple A's in. I really want to do it now. I'm going to do it later. Oh, this one's from Jeff. It's literally a VHS player? Brother sent a VHS player. I feel like these are like rare now, right? He probably sent it when he saw that one video. This one's from Huang Chong. Huang Chong. Okay, keyboard. Keyboard mouse combo. All right. Oh. I expected worse, I'll be honest, I expected worse. I kind of thought a little bit. I kind of do a thought. Someone sent me this little Raspberry Pi Zero. I've never actually used a Raspberry Pi, but you know, there's always a time to learn. Oh, Mr. B sent me Feastables. They're like, hey man. HDMI, okay. Oh, it comes in 
a tiny tube? Bro, this is sketchy. So this is something the HDMI plugs into is fitting in here? Bro. This is this a display? No way, dude. This is a display. Like, this is a screen right here. Oh, why does it smell so, oh, that's gross. It actually smells wet. It smells like a wet fart, dude. All right, before we start setting this all up into a stupid setup, I just ate a bunch of chocolate, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna brush my teeth. Not just with any toothbrush. This video is sponsored by Life and Wave, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. I didn't figure I'd ever care about a toothbrush. I don't brush my teeth. I'm just kidding. I know they're not messing around because they flew me out to CES. I was literally there at the booth. <laughs> yeah, I ain't about to just read you some talking points. I'm gonna make this thing levitate. Traditional electric toothbrushes are never quite as good as you would expect, but the Life and Wave has this insane 60 degree oscillation. Look at that. And a powerful proprietary servo system. <laughs> I don't swallow toothpaste. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? It literally felt like I was unboxing an iPhone and I thought this thing was gonna be a few hundred bucks, but it was less than half of that. This is like the BMW of toothbrushes. Look, unibody design. No gaps means no slobber in the cracks. Oh, that tastes so bad. It's got 0.02 millimeter soft tapered bristles with a tapering rate of 90% to gently clean your teeth and mouth. So there's an app. Toothbrush down there, phone. Oh. Adjust the vibration strength down. Oscillation range up. Gatorade. These replacements are 10 bucks. HP executives are literally crying tears of reasonableness. Oh. And along with the precision waterproof design is rapid magnetic charging. Traditional electric toothbrushes suck. Their motors are cheap. They don't oscillate. So huge thanks to Life & Wave for sponsoring the video. Get your girlfriend one. I brought Olivia one. Ooh, I just assumed you had a girlfriend. My bad, bro, my bad. Make your teeth cleaner. Maybe you'll get a girlfriend. Please consider using my links in the description to support the channel. I gotta put it out, bro. You win, bro, you win. This is our haul right now. This is for the setup. I already broke into the snacks a little bit for some brainstorming food. I just only like the centers. The centers are the best part, so. <laughs> no reason really to eat the other part. You've seen the title and thumbnail, so I don't need- The first thing I did was start programming the tiny computer. For an idea of how powerful this is, you know my survival PC could run like 300 instances of Minecraft? Well, think of this one as being able to run like a tenth, one tenth of an instance hey of Minecraft. So, pretty beans. That's good beans. But with enough programming, possible to game on. I plugged in the virus thing and nothing happened at all. <laughs> Nothing. The tiny Android phone unfortunately has a bad USB port so it wouldn't charge, but it'll make for a good visual later. Because I decided this time, as the setup gets stupider, it also has to get smaller. So it's not just stupid setups, it's stupid small setups. So it's gonna get stupider and it's gonna get smaller until we're at the smallest and the stupidest. Let's use a tiny PC to do some configuration. First setup, pretty small, basic setup, not very stupid, in fact, I don't hate it, which means it's not stupid enough. We're gonna make it stupider. We plug this in instead of keyboard. Second setup with a little bit of fancy programming. Nice. I got this piano keyboard mini device to type for me. Yeah. <laughs> this a little dumber, but needs to be smaller by reducing the screen size. Third setup, slightly smaller, slightly dumber. Makes it even dumber and smaller. But the progress wasn't quite quick enough for my short sprain. So I bet I could make it a little bit dumber with this thing. And it is in fact, super dumb stupid. So I don't have to go searching for drivers. This thing is a barcode scanner that you have to do manually. Dongle. And if there's a website associated with the product. CD-ROM reader. It'll pull up that website. Get my dongle and dongle into this mouse. And I kid you not, the custom designed installation software that fired right up. This is for real. It's installing drivers from 1995 off this disk drive. Was the most in-depth, deliberately designed installer I have ever seen in my life. No way, bro. Most unique, exciting, and innovative software installation you have ever experienced. It literally made you read their terms of service. It forced you to. Literally makes you read the entire EULA. The gall, the nerve to make you just sit there and actually thoroughly I can't take it. read a usage agreement. Well, that is taking a long time. The dude's pretending like it's still 1995. As if in 1995, someone's now empty nester parents who recently, without skipping, watched a movie where the credits were at the beginning. 1995 was crazy. Sat there 
read these words and in no hurry at all prepared themselves to scan a barcode on their Windows 4.0 machine, jaw agape in amazement. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Added the tiny camera to the top from Newton to make it dumber. Bro, this thing really came with a USB type like D. But then it needed to be smaller, much smaller. And I had an idea. This little tiny display is 640 pixels by 480 pixels. And it has optics attached for like a VR headset that makes the image about a half inch diagonal. This has got to be so fragile, dude. Which I quickly removed to make it 0.23 inches diagonally or less than six millimeters. That's a that's like a screen, that's a monitor right there. Smaller than the tip of my finger. Bro, what? Is it working? No freaking way. On the tiny mini computer from earlier. All right, we got her showing up there. I got what is essentially a Minecraft knockoff to run. Average Linux user opening a browser. Installing Minecraft is requiring hackeroonies. But it would crash as soon as you did any form of input. Come on, do it. Do it. So after coding and adding in so many different like low res potato variables and days of wearing the same shirt, bro, I got it to run at approximately 15 FPS. And these little Bluetooth Joy-Con things just worked perfectly. So with various dongles and assembly methods, I got all the little tiny bits and pieces put together to form the world's smallest Steam Deck. It's a version of Linux, so it's a Steam Deck, fight me. I'm cutting the cheese. <laughs> gamer snack. A gamer setup. And then if I get bored, I play with my little arrow. <laughs> Just a normal day. I got a little meat snack. I got a phone in case I need to text my homies. I got my chair and uh, my Steam Deck right there. And my Steam Deck. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know how you're even gonna see that, dude. I got like a get like a special camera. That's my screen. <laughs> All right, now we gotta play a little Minecraft on it. Let me get it back in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. We just load in there. There it is. <laughs> And there, if you could see that smallest playable Minecraft or any game of any sort that the world has ever seen, undoubtedly. There it is. That's my gaming setup. It's really hard to do anything at all, ever. So that's my setup. Um, this is the world's smallest Steam Deck. Get in there even a little bit closer, the way the haters really don't say it's fake. It's really working. I think I can even like mine this, maybe? Hold on. You ready? Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> We're gaming. <laughs>